Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nadia Moor and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create this glow effect. I didn't uh, figure out this myself. I actually found it on YouTube and I'm gonna give the link to the author of this method in description to this video. And also uh, this person uh, gives for free on his gum road uh, these uh, two patches and texture so you will need to download them and if you want you also might want to donate something and also here is my uh, gum road where you can uh, get some stuff for free and also uh, buy some stuff so if you're curious the link also gonna be in description so let's uh, close this project and create new project and it's going to be a blank project. And I'm going to uh, drag, I'm going to drag these two uh, patches to my uh, assets panel. Okay, and let me pause video of this guy. And now I'm clicking add object and I'm searching for the particle system and I cl I'm clicking insert. And also let me make sure that I'm going to go to device and I'm also going to do default pipe pipeline and I'm going to click create. Okay, so this I'm going to keep like this. Okay, so now let's come back to the uh, emitter and we're going to keep it at point. For the space, it's going to be a world. Birth rate, I'm going to change it to a, a 10. Also spray angle. It's going to be 0, 90, 0, 0, and then 0, 70. Also, for the speed, it's going to be 0 0.2 and 40. We're going to keep it like that. And for the particle size, I'm going to increase it. I'm going to make it 0 0.02. For the lifespan, it's going to be uh, 5 seconds. And uh, for the, uh, I'm going to uncheck bill boarding and for the angular velocity, it's going to be 0 to 100. Going to skip this row and then for the next one, it's also going to be 0 to 100. Okay, now we're also going to click on the material plus and for the acceleration, I'm going to check it on. Let's go to the material and let's change it to the physically base. For the color, it's going to be, you can pick your own color, but I'm going to give you the one I use, DD, B, 4, 0, 0. Also for the texture, it's going to be new animation sequence. And now I'm going to keep um, pick new texture. And this is going to be from the gum broad of the author of this tutorial, it's going to be animation of, from the butterflies, but you can use any other animation if you want. And then I'm going to click on this one, no compression, and let me come back to the material. So let's play and see how it looks. Also switch video to myself. So uh, as you see, this emitter is like by my nose. I'm going to put it a little bit lower and let's do 0 0.03, actually minus, minus 0 0.03. And let's see how it looks now. Well, uh, let me just drag it like this. Yeah, I li like this, I like more. Okay, so let's come back to the material and let's make it metallic metallic and for the emission I'm gonna check it on and for the color it's gonna be um, a one five three zero B okay and also for the environment let's pick uh, search library and for the textures, be all textures, and let's pick machine shop, import, done, and let's call this one. 
So now I'm going to use this machine shop as a texture. Okay, and also I'm going to use the alpha test and I'm going to check it in. So now we have this also in our uh, patch editor, we have this scene render pass together with camera texture device and uh, screen output. I created it by going here and clicking here, uh, default pipeline in, in, in the beginning of this video. I click create it here. So now I'm going to disconnect this line and I'm going to add add patch. Let me pull it a little bit back. So it's going to come to the first. And connecting back. Okay. And also, uh, we, we will need to uh, add one more scene render patch. Scene render. I mean, not patch. Scene render pass. Scene render pass. Like this. It's the same one. And I'm going to drag the emitter to the... Uh, patch editor and I'm going to connect the scene render pass to the scene object. And now I'm dragging this at co contrast and I'm putting midpoint at 0 0.7 and connecting texture to the First stop value. And now I'm dragging second patch, which is blur, and I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to connect this add contrast to the texture of both of it. And for the texture size, I'm going to um, use the screen size. And then I'm going to search for the multiply. And then it's going to, I'm going to switch it to the vector 2. And I'm going to multiply by 0 0.25. So basically I'm... Um, 25. I am using uh, the text screen size and I'm just decreasing it by 1 fourth. So now I'm using this output to the texture size. And for the step, I'm going to put for this one minus 2 and 0. And for this one, I'm going to keep 1 and 2. Let me scroll a little bit. And now I'm connecting this blur patch with the shader render pass. Shader render pass. And for the size, I'm going to put 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and I'm going to duplicate, copy one more like that, and also will connect. And now I'm going to put those two shader under pass together by using the add patch. So just put them together. And now I'm using the multiply patch and using vector 4. So and let me the last step we have this Add patch. Okay, let me drag it much more further so you can see. And now we get this glow. The only thing that something so birth rate, I actually need to do 10, so we have less of them. 
and also let me see why it's uh, yeah for the spray angle for the spray angle I'm gonna make 0 and 90 and then 0 and 70 so now they're gonna spray better and for the angular velocity I'm gonna do 0 to 100 I think I did those settings, but they just didn't save correctly, and it's 0 to 100. Like this. Let me check all other settings. Yeah, it looks correctly. So, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye, guys.